Pisces, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This video is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. The way that works is this is an energy reading, Pisces. And so if it resonates with you, wherever and however it resonates, please, this is your reading. Allow it to resonate as it will. If you want a full astrology breakdown for the week because you want the specifics and the dates and the details, then please, Pisces, go to my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, and get your 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 weekly astrology forecast um, and subscribe over there too. Um, this reading comes to you when it's supposed to. It is a timeless message and it comes to you when you draw it to you, when you need to hear it. But please, if you haven't, subscribed to the channel so you can help this Pisces Tarot channel grow. Um, if you're looking for personal readings, I do do those. Um, only through my website, Born Without... So here it is, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Um, that's the only place I book, schedule, or anything with my... Um, with my with my personal readings so please check that out i also have a store and i got it i got a surprise for you this just came in this is it this is it this is yours this is yours this is your pisces hat this is it you got it in black you got it in white look how freaking adorable that is i hope that all of you full color full spectrum and embroidery not some cheap painted on you know what look at that full spectrum full rainbow beautiful color pisces 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 go grab yours now also www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com i just wanted you guys to see that i'm thinking of y'all i got all my water signs covered i got all the hats ready i can't wait for you to see them so let's get into your reading pisces um, we have holding on to or somebody being greedy and somebody being shady or there's some sort of sense of security that you need. This could represent you being secure or needing to feel secure or having been afraid or frightened, especially when it comes to some something financial security. Holding on to, holding on to what though? Um, there is that sense with the, so, so four of pentacles can mean financial stability and security. So that could be absolutely very good news, but there's something here with regards to your financial security and stability that ultimately is maybe intuitively there's something going on there you you you're holding on you are afraid of letting go of maybe it's your money maybe it's something else we've got to get more information Pisces what's going on but that's what it is there could also be that you're dealing with somebody who is very controlling or very stingy um um, or they're just somebody who is very competent and makes your life make sense. <laughs> Hold on though. Hold on. There's so much more to come. We have the three of wands. We have the seven of pentacles. And we have the five of swords. So in some ways... It's almost like somebody is being extremely conservative when it comes to how they spend because somehow they know there's a huge financial kind of fallout or breakdown that is going to be happening, um, especially when it comes to like, like something that you've been trying over and over again, something that you've continued to do and nothing has worked out. It's always ended in defeat. This could be the week that something finally comes in from a direction that honestly really surprises you because you didn't expect anything to come. You, con you kind of thought that this was over, that this ship had sailed or that this just wasn't working out and I think you admitted defeat. But there is this sense of some part of you not giving up. Okay. 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 So what is the Seven of Pentacles? What is the Seven of Pentacles? What is the Five of Swords here for? There is a shift or a change. A financial shift or change. Be but stop. There's a financial shift or change because somebody really likes your work. People are finally taking notice. 
of your talents and your skills and what you can do we have also this could be somebody very this is a queen of cups it could represent you but it could also represent somebody who's very loving very motherly um like just sort of in making improvements major improvements in onto your life this could be uh just helping without your help something could not have happened something would not have come true um but there's a financial shift here because people are recognizing what you can do something that you've given your all to um they love what you do please be please 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 be specific so yeah they love what you do what doesn't make sense to me is this queen of cups here because i get it your work is changing or your resources are changing yes it's shifting because people are finally taking notice somebody did a really good job and it, it's you this has got to be you that's done a really good job and and that's why the shift has come maybe oh my god this is so cool the star card is here so this is dream wish fulfillment this is also truth like telling the truth um telling your truth but no you've wished for this you've wished for this because this was stalled it was it's like you've finally broken through and defeated the getting nowhere but I want to see what this moon is. It's, I think it represents you because it's your reading. Pisces, what is the what is the moon card represent? It's like in some ways you were hanging on by the skin of your teeth. Pisces. Okay, so this is heartbreak that's mending itself. Or some sort of something that you've this is something that you've had anxiety about. That's what it is because you thought it really was not going to work out. You were ready to throw in the towel. But all of a sudden, somebody who just absolutely adores you or better yet, kind of understands you or gets you. Because even though this could be you, right? It could be a water sign. It's not. It's somebody else. This is a connection of sorts. That there's just like It's like you found the perfect investor or you found the person who really, really, really like you just they believe in you or you believe in them something something about that but it, it's like the perfect combination and honestly i don't think they could be an aquarius sure absolutely they could this could just represent them right but it could also be how does this happen how, how, how does this energy or this opportunity come to pisces this week how does this energy or opportunity come to Pisces this week? Oh, no, Pisces, we're going to get into, into it. We still have to pick a moon card, too, because there's a full moon this week. Pisces. Oh, wow. It's love. It's a new, it's a new passion. It's a new attraction. Um, and this is like the right person. It, it's, oh, is this is somebody you've known from the past. You used to be friends with them or you've known them since you were kids or they make you feel like a child again but something has grown up and this is the first time you're actually going to actually think of doing something with them or the two of you taking things seriously but things have definitely matured and then we have six of wands coming out which means people are really happy for you or finally being able to come out in public and say something or say it <clears throat> right or just you're adding to and contributing to success because of belief and love of somebody this is a huge opportunity where somebody wants to love and support you so it's not just about connection but this could be soulmate energy somebody calling in their soulmate that they just never got a chance to be around or be near this may have be totally separate from this this may be talking about your own money in a situation that's finally finally a door that's opening for you because somebody comes along and gets it it's implying maybe that this is somebody that you've known for quite some time and now in your grown-up state there's a sense of a spark 
that happens or just this doesn't even have to be a romantic partner just a, a business partner or a creative partner somebody who definitely it's just right for you you just know like they're the perfect partner the perfect team to move forward on to 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 just combine your talents and skills with but there is this energy look at this of growing up right you start young you start with the six of cups and then two of cups this is real soulmate energy this is maturity this is the two you the two of you growing together or um maybe always being meant to meet each other um or somebody that you've known for a while they you would have happy memories with them um Come on, God, give me the right words. This is a this is looking at them differently. All of a sudden, all, all of a sudden, looking at them differently. This is coming out in reverse. So there's some sort of heartbreak that is solved or addressed. Oh my God, let's get a moon card. Let's get a moon card. Pisces. Pisces. This this week is huge. This moon is huge for you because it's sextile to your to your natal sun go please go watch the um astrology also i always do an extended reading for those of you who don't know there's an extended to every reading i hope you guys will come and watch it i always post your link down below at the top of the comment section so i hope you'll come join me a new romantic cycle begins so this is it now romance for me because this is a general reading does imply just romantic as in idealism romance the romantic period was an idealistic period where people always saw things like through rose-colored glasses the nostalgia of the yesteryear innocence childhood sweethearts valentines that sort of that sort of idealistic elysian kind of way of looking at the world but this could also very well mean a spark to a new romance or to a new situation with an old friend okay because a new romantic cycle begins the, you let me say this to you after a lot of failure and a lot of defeat this is changing overnight and it's it's happening around this moon and if this romantic period isn't just your relate a relationship it is it's it's like a portal is opening in your life and happiness a happy upstroke of your life is going to start to come into play around this week or through this week definitely by that full moon this is this is just it's it's happiness and and yes of course i will now absolutely say it this could be meeting somebody new somebody coming into your life and this somebody would be absolutely special and a soulmate somebody that you've never been able to stop thinking about for but for some reason i don't know never really thought you'd get together or didn't get together so we have the seven of of so somebody is fighting addiction maybe that was a big part somebody could be struggling very hard um, and wanting to stay sober and looking to stay sober and confront their demons maybe that's why a door has finally opened up because somebody's finally been able to look at their demons and say i'm i'm not letting you control me so this could be somebody in recovery or you could be in recovery and so for the first time you're able to actually see clearly and and that's why things are starting to shift like this new perspective on the world comes because you're out of that fog or out of that phase um it could doesn't mean that necessarily drugs and alcohol it could just be fighting bad behaviors or addictive behaviors you're sticking up to them you're you're sticking up to something that has held you down and kept you back this could also be law because talking about the legal law see the scales this could be your, your somebody is sticking up to the big bad bully that tries to keep everyone down and in control see, this could be your fight your fight in the man that could be the aquarius energy right you're sticking up for yourself you're fighting the man you're you're not gonna let somebody get away with this and if so especially if you guys have some legal issues going on this is such good fucking news i can't i just can't even articulate it but i'm gonna try in the extended please come over with me i'll see you guys there